Hey, welcome back. This week I'm going to be doing uh, the songs I heard in the anime series, which this time around is Carnival by the Pillows. Now, as you can see, I am ready with my Fender shirt, since so far this is the only song where I pl play using my uh, Fender or Squire uh, Strat and Telecaster. But uh, I'm going to do something a little different this week. I've actually moved a little further along in the lead section, so I'm going to start with that. Now, last time when I was going over the lead section, I uh, mainly went over the end of the chorus and then the beginning of the, uh, of the second verse. So basically how that went was uh, the end of the chorus sounds like this. That second verse goes like this. And honestly, when I turn things up, it's easier to hold on to that uh, hammer on, which is great. But yeah, those are coming along quite nicely. I still have a little few uh, flubs here and there, but I'm actually at the point where I can play it more or less at full speed, which is great. And then uh, I think since the pretty much how the end of the uh, chorus goes, learning that means I learn across the board, obviously. And then I think that uh, aside from uh, the beginning of the second verse, uh, all the other ones more or less play like uh, the rhythm section to an extent, where, where it's, except instead of playing all three notes, it's just two. So I end up going. For part of the uh, part of the verses after this, which is great. And then I'm trying to think. Uh, also, the other thing I uh, was dealing with, going a little further back, was actually the uh, pre-chorus and the uh, chorus right up until the end again. So that one, I think it's still giving me a bit of grief because basically it's uh, switching between uh, a number of uh, you know, quick chords, but all focusing around uh, having the uh, the index finger on the second fret of the uh, G and sometimes A string. And then the one that really bugs me is the one where I have to go with the pinky finger on the fifth fret of the A string. <laughs> That's kind of weird, but mainly the thing is make sure I stretch out in time, because I, I like I said, I still have to work on making sure I play it up at full speed. Yeah, you hear it where I, I kind of slipped and muddied the whole uh, that whole chord. So that's the one I can work on. So. Everything to the point where I can see it and follow it at full speed. I just got to get my fingers to catch up on those little bits here and there. But yeah, that just means I'm really, really close. So that takes care of the lead section. Now, rhythm section. Now, jumping off of the last uh, progress video, um, where I left off was the very end of the chorus. Now, uh, luckily, I don't have, really have to worry about uh, playing, going right into something different for the verse, because it's pretty much the same verse when it comes to uh, the entire song. Aside from uh, 
uh, making sure I don't accidentally hit the E string uh, when I'm doing the, the when I'm playing the chords down here. I, I, that one's pretty much uh, easy enough to come back to after I've wrapped up the verse. But anyway, onto the verse. The last few bit were uh, was basically just making sure I change between a couple of uh, chord shapes. Uh, luckily, uh, well, luckily or unluckily, depending on how good you are at it, instead of playing the entire chord shape, I gotta play it in pieces. So, um, basically it's... Then it's... Then it's... And then cap it off with... more or less got the shape in my head. I just have to get it in my hand. <laughs> There's a dirty joke there. But anyway, uh, as I was practicing in preparation for this video this week, I actually managed to get up to the point where I started um, playing along with Ultimate Guitar at 60% and built up to a solid 90, where I uh, managed to go with multiple repetitions without screwing it up. So that's a good sign. So, uh, more or less, uh, getting up to that 90% sounds like... So it's good that I can get my fingers into the right position, just gotta clean it up a tiny bit, pick it up a little bit more, and then I'll be ready to play it along with everything else. But yeah, that's about it for where this one is. So close. like. I, I was saying, like, on all that rock and roll, uh, I'm thinking that's going to be first or second. If that's not first, this will be, because it's coming along pretty quickly. I just got to dig in and finish off cleaning up those last few bits. And then, I don't know, maybe just, like, with the rhythm section of Run Around, I could, uh, I could uh, dedicate one particular section of this series to just make sure I get the right sound. Although I do feel much closer since turning the volume up, so we'll see how much I actually need to do with that. I'm doing my best to try to look up, um, you know, the kind of gear uh, that uh, the bands that I'm actually doing these covers of use, and you know where they uh, where they usually set the tone on their amp, what kind of pedals they use. Kind of slim pickings, I guess, because these songs uh, popular-ish, but not so popular that. There have to be 500 blogs on them, so still figuring out the sound bit of things, which is just as important, but I'm getting there. And then, as you can see, technique is going along too, so shouldn't be too much longer. But anyway, that's it for this progress video. I'll see you guys next week. This is DJ, aka 5 Guitars Guy. See ya.